Hey there guys. Ah right. So part two of the do it yourself positive and negative power supply. I have changed the transformer because the difference between the inputs and outputs will be too high and so this is a 12 volt output transformer um, but of course once it goes to DC you've got to do that peak thing so we're getting more than 12 volts to the regulators um, I've got both both channels of the transformer on the go so I've got 12 volts 0 and 12 um, here is the, the power supply that's the capacitors for the supply to smooth out that ripple and then from there we got our regulators the top one is the positive regulator the lower one is the negative regulator both 12 volts um, the one at the bottom comes from bright components and is near enough bang on 12 volts lovely and stable the one at the top comes from China a whole bunch of them for you know a pound and that is about 12.3 volts um, I have moved away a little bit from the circuit diagram that I was working working with um, if you saw the other video the part one of this because I started building it and I didn't have any negative regulators but the circuit diagram is quite different uh, the input is still pretty much the same you know coming from a, a transformer uh, I've not got a I've not got a switch and a fuse on this because my switch is this there we go oh sorry here's the switch that will be on push down and that's off and there's a fuse built into this so everything's okay like that so that's on now I've gone for very small capacitors on the output because these regulators are pretty good anyway from what I understand for the, uh, the ripple side of things I looked at the data sheet and it suggested two diodes the way I've got them in here I don't know if you can see down there, I hope you can two diodes and and it works it works okay now I've rebuilt the LM1875 uh, and I rebuilt it so it's a positive and negative input of course because that's what that was all about and the blue wire is the negative input and the orange wire is a positive input and this yellow wire here is the, uh, the zero now I'm a little bit confused on how to separate up completely the signal from the power supply ground so I've got it in this configuration for now it would be lovely that rather than just be left a thumbs down for getting this wrong if somebody would actually leave a thumbs down by all means it's your you know your opinion and your valid it's valid to you it's, but put if you can how it should be corrected that would be great because Thumbs up, thumbs downs are all great, but it's really good, especially if it's a negative thing, that if there's a an actual explanation of why, because that helps me learn. And I'd much more appreciate that than without it, because that's what I'm trying to do. Yesterday, I was one year in, um, into this game. And although, you know, I'm not a professional or have any real prior experience and I didn't do very well academically at school because I didn't go to an academic school I didn't uh, my schooling was probably very different to I pretty much say everybody that's into this sort of thing my schooling would have been very much different I have made some changes to the components that I've used because I didn't have all the components that the data sheet required um, so this input capacitor oh 
my camera really doesn't like um, the low the low light and I know that it's uh, the camera this is a live live cam it's a Microsoft uh, HD 3000 thing and I know it's that because I've got another camera it doesn't do that but unfortunately it's got this horrible hiss on the on the mic and you have to plug the mic into the back of the computer and the computer's all the way over there and this one does everything from the USB so uh, so I can't use it but it doesn't have the part where as soon as I start cutting out the light you start having a bit of a problem look like that you maybe see it freeze it's terrible if you have a black surface it just doesn't want to play at all but anyway that's not the point of what we're doing here so I've had to make um, a few little differences and um, I can make w one difference on the output and that will be to get rid of the film capacitor that's at the minute um, on the output which will be if I get it right I think it's either this one here or it's this one here um, maybe if I put this screen on here actually I've got the data sheet on there and I can I can see it for myself so 4 is the output uh, 4 is going to be at the back here and here's my output here um, and so it's this film capacitor here oh this one here so I could put an electrolytic there and have um, a better bass response but with most of these things it's always the proof is in the pudding and not everybody has the same audio taste to what they want to what they want to hear so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put on this little I did have the radio going on this and it's like anything else when it comes to hi-fi um, you only get in you only get out what you put in so if you put a crap source in you're going to get crap out and if you've got a good amplifier and good speakers you're just going to be able to hear that through a good amplifier and speakers but it's still going to be rubbish I can't provide the greatest of inputs because this is all I've got to work with one channel is actually broken on this so I've already got the left channel it doesn't really matter but I'm going to tell you it's connected to the right speaker um, which is over here and this is just a satellite mission speaker it's not the greatest it's certainly not got the greatest bass response or anything like that it's not supposed to have um, it wouldn't be my first choice of speakers but as the pair only cost me 16 pounds uh, it was just a bargain to have up here and if I pop them it's not gonna make me it's not gonna make me upset so let's have a little see what this sounds like um, the music, let me just say, start off with, the music here, or everything that I'm going to do for a few seconds through this is all open source music, okay, there's no, I'm not going to get any copyright problems or anything like that, uh, so Google if you're listening, it's all open source, and I will put every artist and the, and the song name, like this one's called Raindrops and it's by Alaska, and if this camera was any good it would focus in on that, but it's supposed to be on a... I don't know, on my screen or something, just looking at me. But here we go, look. Now what I look for, I look for, I look for the, the high volume for any sort of clipping or anything like this. And with this setup, 24 volts in total, plus minus 12, it's not even pushing this um, at all really and even with it on full blast I can get this to warm up but it doesn't warm up very much I can get that to get a lot hotter if I use the, the signal generator that I've, I've got in here and I start pushing through high frequencies um, well we're not going to do that because there's, there's no point so okay what I want to do is give you a little bit of a This music may not be to some people's taste, it's not supposed to be your specific music. What I'm listening for is hiss, any sort of crackles, 
any type of hum that you may get from. But you've got to remember, look, direct to the mains of a transformer. Redirect fire. Capacitors. But I think I've used my filtering capacitors quite well. I must remind as well, there's only one channel. We've only got one channel working. And from here, this sounds pretty funky. I built another another um, another amplifier, which I really like the sound of, and it uses a lot more components, a lot more to set up in this. I couldn't believe actually how easy this was to set up. I did it on the single supply first, and that turned out to be 14 components, and this is 11 components, so we've got three component difference. And this is actually easier to set up. The only difference was I had to build a power supply to get it to work. Um, but I love doing it. I love doing it. So I'm just going to turn it up a little bit now. About as loud as this will go. That's full blast on my on this input. One channel, remember? I have no idea how that's being picked up by this microphone, but from where I sit. It sounds pleasant enough to me. Um, would I say, in my opinion, um, that this, that I could close my eyes and hear every individual instrument and think that it's live being played around me? No. But then I don't expect to either. This is um if that were the case, where would be the point in looking through what hi fi or going to a proper audiophile shop and looking at a source for a thousand pounds when you could get the same thing generated from a a hundred pound phone with the built in music player? It just wouldn't be wouldn't be worth it, would it? Them shops would probably need to shut down because Does it sound nice enough with these little tiny speakers? Yeah, it does. And you know, I've sat in rooms with big floor standing speakers where the stereos are like £15,000. And I know the difference in the sound, but I'm not expecting it from this. But what I do like to hear is that there's no hiss, there's no hum, I, there's no music going through it. Now, and I can't hear anything out of the speakers. That's nice. And there's another thing as well. One of the tracks I have on here, Thanks. that's not it, one of the tracks I have on here, um, that's because this, this phone has got a system in it which records some of my calls, I think it's this, oh my god, well that was a bit loud wasn't it, sorry about that if anybody's got their headphones in, there's an actual track on this phone that's very good because it's got the sound of the sea. And I can't seem to control this phone anymore. Um, it's not that. I'm trying to see. I think that's it. I think it's this. No, it's not. No. We're going to be getting closer there. Here we go. Now. This, when I played it through the other amplifier that I built, um, I could hear a 
another hiss. I expect to hear the sound of the sea. I could hear another hiss, but what I found on the other amplifier as well is when I turned it down, when I turned it down to this sort of volume, I could the, the, the hiss was emphasized. Okay. And it's also nice that when you turn this down to a really quiet volume, you still have the the, the bass. You don't lose any of anything. It's everything is still there. Now I love this tune. I love this tune, even though my background would suggest that I'd probably be into more like street rave music or whatever. This I love this sort of music. It's um it's got depth. It's got soul. I love Motown, I love all the soul stuff because it's got depth. But I don't hear any hiss. And even if I turn it up. Anyway. So there we go. The 1875, LM 1875. Even though it's not a genuine one, a genuine one, it's, it's not. It's from China. Uh, chances are, it's not going to be. And what I understand about the dyes in these is either not enough dye or it's cheaper. Rubbish dye dyes. So today, in a moment or two, once I've just pressed um, stop on this recording, oh my life! Look how long it is. Um, I'm going to order myself two genuine ones, and I'm going to build myself um, this little amp, and I'll build it up again. The other side here play around with it um, and then probably build this onto a little board because it does sound quite nice but that will be a whole new thing for me building onto boards um, because it's very easy like this to make a mistake and change it even though to be fair I would say this on this if you think this is complicated it's not um, I've, I've managed to put these together um, pretty much having them go in first go um, and that's been great and this hasn't been particularly difficult either um, and that all seems to work pretty well as well but it's it's only using part of the power what this can take that's not even warm it's not cold cold as in metal cold uh, this but it's not warm um, as in anything that you want to think to yourself oh there's a bit of a problem but then again it's not really been running has it I'd have to leave it running for a good while um, I, I would think but I'm not a professional on this. I am still very, very much a novice. It's my first year and day one of the second year today. Um, but I'm, I'm quite happy with this. I'm quite happy with what I've done with this so far. And what I, I'm going to do as well is I'm going to I'm going to play around with this um, this here, and I might just add that on to the end and just see if there is much or any difference really whatsoever. I put an electrolytic on there, something with a bit more. Um, you know, something with a bit more storage. Maybe not as big as that. If I were to put bigger capacitors on here, I would need to um, put some sort of protection for the regulators, just so <clears throat> you know, just so that juice in the capacitor's got somewhere to go to, and it doesn't try and kick in the doors of the outputs. Because that's not a, that's not a very good thing. Not a very good thing at all. And I might actually get myself another regulator from Bright Components. Uh, these are made in Morocco, these regulators, but like I say, this is bang on 12 volts, pretty much given a few millivolt, where this one's like 300 millivolts out. Um, and that's cheap from China. But still good because you can get a whole bunch of them for like a pound, including the shipping. And if you break one, don't really matter so much. You know, and that's the whole thing about this, isn't it? Experimenting, breaking stuff experimenting and getting stuff right by trial and error uh, if you have to if that's the way you got to do it and that's the way I have to do it so if you got this far fair play to you uh, cheers for watching and um, yeah please if you do you know go for the thumbs down on it okay fair enough that's your opinion but leave a message as to why help me learn and make better so the next time you look at something that I do you might think yeah man that's a good improvement and he's actually taken some advice that I've given him I'd like to be able to do that catch you soon cheers guys bye